Good morning, guys. It's Ray. Ray's landscaping. So, uh, well, you know, today's Tuesday. Got off that jog yesterday. I know y'all might saw the video. I had to do a little bit. Anyway, so I had to do that, uh, take care of that. Uh, I'm not working today. Well, when I say I'm not working, I'm not physically out in the field making money. I will be working some stuff. Uh, I have to go take care of a few things uh, and all that. So uh, it's not really working and making money, but it's, you know, it's in the realm of, you know, getting things ready for when I do it, get ready to go to work again. I need a couple of days off, you know, that other job, that last job stressed me a little bit more than what I wanted to be, to be stressed. Uh, kind of boring maybe a little rhetoric you know that I had to come up with maybe a little banter on brother in law or something just because um, yeah. we well, all know he put a video out yesterday and he you know talking about the five things that you need to start a lawn care business and the number one thing he said is you need a mower the first thing, the most important thing, is obviously a lawnmower. Yeah, it's kind of ironic when somebody don't even have a mower. So I will talk to you guys today a little bit about, you know, what, what you need to start a lawn care business. You know, that old, uh, I guess he's just referring to what it takes to start a business because he, you know, 10 years in, he's got a, Inch mower, man. So if you're 10 years in, I wouldn't be wanting to do all that. I'm not going to be pushing nothing for 10 years in. It's just me. I'm just saying, y'all, that's me. But one thing that 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 the uh, that you know he did not say, and I feel like it's what do I know? I feel like it's a pretty important detail that he did not say throughout the whole video. He said you need, what, a mower, weed eater, trimmer, a blower, some form of transportation, and insurance. Well, I'm just going to be real with y'all. You know, my first six or seven years, I didn't have no insurance. That's just, you know, I'm just being real, man, you know. I don't know how many other people will tell you that, but that's the truth with me. Uh, I didn't get insurance uh, and, be, and was thinking about insurance, well, uh, until I started doing a lot more lucrative jobs, a lot bigger stuff like, uh, you know, doing French drains and uh, any kind of equipment rental type stuff, you know, where, you know, you're making three or $4,000. I'm not saying you shouldn't have insurance, but for me, that the reality of me having insurance at, you know, year one, man, dude, no, man, I, you know, of course, it never hurts to have insurance, but that wouldn't be the top five things I'm thinking about. It wouldn't, wouldn't be in one of the top five things I'm thinking about when I'm thinking about starting a lawn care business and feeding my family. Cause that's usually what it comes down to uh, you know if everybody had money for all of that then the struggle wouldn't be it wouldn't be a struggle you know uh, so though insurance is important uh, as you move forward it's certainly not in my it's probably not in my top 10 things that you need to start out so you know to me the number one thing that you need to start a lawn care business is you need some freaking customers because there ain't no sense in and in, in doing anything unless you got customers so yeah Shane you need customers so let's put that at number one okay number one is customers <laughs> can't emphasize that enough because without customers all the other stuff don't even matter, you know. Just saying, man, I don't know. What do I know, you know? 
So, uh, and then of course you need uh, you need a mower. Now, I don't I don't know if I recommend starting out with a 21 inch mower if you can help it, because you're gonna you know uh, I don't know that I don't know that it, well, down here where I live at I don't think that you can hardly make a living with a 21 inch mower if that's what you're trying to do. You know that's just my take on that. You might be able to. I don't know. These yards I do down here are big and nasty sometimes. And, uh, yeah. I got 30 inch mowers and I rarely use them just on the detail stuff, you know, behind houses uh, and everything. As a matter of fact, you know, a lot of times uh, uh, the jobs that I take on, uh, I have turned down clients and customers over the years just because they don't have a backyard gate big enough to accommodate uh, you know uh, at least a 52 inch mower or at least, not, excuse me, at least a 44 inch mower uh, if I can't get in their backyard with a 44 inch mower and of course it all has to do with square footage how big the front yard is and how much money I'm making but normally on a cookie cutter yard if they don't build a big nice fence and, and, uh, and the backyard is you know, they have a, 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 a gate that's, you know, 25, 26, you know, you know, 28, 30 inches, you know, I'm probably not going to be doing that property, you know, uh, not at, at least not at this point. Now, there was a time that I probably would have, but I wouldn't have used a 21-inch mower. Uh, I just think a 21-inch mower, if that's all you got, that's all you got, you know, but as soon as you can get to another mower, that's what you got to do. Because you know you can only make so much money with a 21 inch mower and the numbers don't lie you know it takes you know so long to cut a property with a 21 inch mower just based on the actual you know square footage that you're that you're cutting with and the actual square footage that you have to cut you can only cut you know so if you only can cut if you can only cut an acre in an hour well, you're not gonna make no money down here like that. Uh-uh. Uh, and I don't know uh, how long it would take to cut an acre with a 21-inch mower, but you know, it, what, what, what really jumps out is the fact that, uh, you know, you, you cut a couple of acres with a push mower, a 21-inch mower, you ain't gonna wanna do anything else for that day, so. But back to brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, don't you know, you need to tell them folks, man, that you need customers. You know, you don't have them folks going out and spending, you know, uh, what little money they do have on a, on a damn mower and all this, and you ain't got not one customer, you know. Come on, man. But I guess if you, you know, if you if you're young and, and you're starting out, and you, especially if you're if you've got a job, I don't know that you can support yourself with a 21 inch mower. But you could probably, I guess, you know, theoretically get started with that. You know, uh, you ain't gonna like it though, um, especially when you compare it to, you know, a, a, a bigger mower. Uh, I have had 21 inch mowers uh, over the years. Uh, and nothing wrong with that, but I think you're gonna have a hard time, you know, making, you know, 80 grand a year with a with a push mower. I'm just saying, you might be able to. I don't know. Uh, and you know, that's what you got to make, you know, in order to survive. You got to, I mean, you got to at least make what. I don't know what the what the what the you know what the number is you know as far as what, what what you need to make in order to survive in the lawn care business but i would say that uh you need to be able to generate you know uh you know sixty thousand dollars or so uh you know fifty thousand dollars or so and then by the time you, you know, pay for your equipment and, and all the things it takes to get that, 
you know, uh, you, you, you know, you, you'll be in around 30, you know, and down here where I live at, $30,000 though, you can live on that, but you ain't going to be living large. You ain't going to be, you ain't, you ain't going to be eating no filet mignon. You ain't going to be, uh, you know, that's equivalent to what, 15 bucks an hour, you know? Yeah, that's not enough money, man. You know, uh, maybe going in, you know, uh, uh, you know, if, if and if you're doing it part time, that's the way to go, you know. But I don't, I don't go out there and invest in a bunch of lawn equipment and then start looking for customers. I'm gonna have some sort of customer base before I do anything. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy nothing until I know I can at least do. A couple of my neighbor's yards or something and then I use customers you got to have customers that's the number one thing if you don't have them then there's no point in going out and buying anything you know uh, even if you just have a couple of them you know uh, close to you you know where you can maybe your neighbors or you know your aunt uncle mom dad cousin brother sister whatever you know that's kind of how i you know i started doing little things for uh for my neighbors and stuff and all that so you know uh, without the customers you're not going to be able to do anything you know you can you know what's the point in buying even a 21 inch mower or you know uh you know and it's sitting in your garage because you know you have to work your full-time job in order to uh, get the lawn business going you know if you're working a full-time job and then you're thinking about getting into the lawn care business I kind of break into it like that you know I wouldn't quit my job you know because it's freaking hot out here y'all summertime ain't no joke especially down here where I'm at and in order to make really good money at this game you got to be efficient you got to be moving and you can't have a whole lot of hiccups along the way because you'll get swallowed up in the summertime uh, you know and the heat is a huge factor you know so before i went to invest in you know uh you know any money i'm gonna make sure i got a couple customers and i can handle their properties and then i use that money to buy you know a little bit better you know uh equipment I started out with a with a plug-in blower y'all a plug-in blower man you know uh, and that's just what I had to do to keep my cost down I was able to do that and uh, and eventually uh, gain really you know uh, you gain customers but the biggest thing that you gain when you start doing this and you start actually you know even if you just got three or four lawns and you start actually earning money is what that does man more than anything is it builds confidence and that's critical that's critical in this game got to have confidence that you can get out here and do it you got to have confidence that you can make it you got to be confident when you're dealing with the customers uh, especially new in the game you got to know and believe that you can do these properties and if you turn around and you look at your trailer and uh, or your rig and you got a push mower, well, your confidence is gonna be a little bit weary. Mine would be, and I'm talking about me, you know, my confidence will be a little bit weary because I know that I can't get out there and really do the lucrative properties with a 21 inch push mower, you know. So I would always be thinking about a bigger mower, always, you know. Now once you, uh, uh, get through the first season or so even if you're doing it part-time and you see man, you know I can make a lot of money at this game man, you know uh, the, uh, uh, You know in, in, in a fraction of the time that it takes for me to go to my job You know, that's when things start really changing for you because that's when you start taking that money That you that little money that you're earning on the side and you should start buying equipment and let your regular job pay your bills You know, it's all about 
putting the money right back in. So you go from a 21 inch mower to a 30 inch mower. Go from a 30 inch mower to, uh, you know, some kind of zero turn stand on mower. And then you go from that to, you know, the sky's the limit, you know, uh, as long as you're confident in what you're doing and you're up built and you're thinking in terms of, you know, stepping up and being in the game long term, you know, uh, to me, and this is just my personal opinion, you know, uh, and I did start out with, with, uh, I started out with a snapper a rear inch mold with a 25 inch deck or whatever that, you know, yeah and a and a and a blow i actually started out with a mower one of my customers gave me but i knew it but i couldn't make big money at that i couldn't you know that mower you know was a good mower you know if you johnny homeowner cutting homeowner's yard you know you know cutting your own property but when you start running these mowers you know uh, six or seven hours a day you know those little mowers those little cheap mowers well uh, they're gonna, they're gonna, uh, uh, well, they're gonna drag you. They're gonna drag your time. So it's, you know, so well, like I've said in other videos, the first, you know, the what you got to do is you got to always be thinking in terms of stepping up, so you can get your foot in the door quicker. You know, uh, if you if you make that good money and every time you make fifty dollars on a property, you spend, uh, you go eat Domino's and and or Papa John's and uh, buy a 12 pack well you're not gonna build it's gonna take you a lot longer to step up you know but if you take that money and you grind with it and you turn around and, and you know do six or seven yards get you three or four hundred dollars up then you can go buy you a decent uh, a blower or weed eater or whatever and you don't have to have a steel and you know and all that you don't even have to have new shoot I'd buy a used weed eater a steel, I'd buy a steel used weed eater any day. I would. I did. I have. Uh, and I, hell, I'd buy, I ain't saying I wouldn't buy buy a used steel weed eater again. You know, that's just me. You know, because I know that uh, uh, that piece of equipment is gonna 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 be worth it in the long run. So, yeah. But that damn brother-in-law of mine, well, not mine, cuz of mine, well, not cuz whatever you want to call him that dude just keeps putting videos out and who i mean who is his ideal follower or subscriber i mean who is he marketing to <laughs> you know but i know this that number one thing you need is some freaking customers man come on brother-in-law you didn't even mention the word customers i mean geez man that's the most important thing that you got you can have all the freaking equipment in the world but if you ain't got no freaking customers it don't even matter see it's just it's just knucklehead things like that that he says that he doesn't even think about what he's saying he knows good and damn well that if you ain't got no customers, you ain't got nothing. You know, he's certainly no authority on this game for real. You know, and neither am I. You know, I just know what works for me. And, uh, and all that. I'm not going to damn be spending no money on nothing if I ain't got no customers wanting me to come and cut their grass or clean their yard up, uh, that kind of thing. Chainsaws and all these things, those are things that you'll accumulate over time, you know. To me, uh, you know, in the lawn care business, you need a chainsaw. You know, that opens the doors up for other things. Because a lot of times, if you ain't got that, you know, say you say you got a mower and a weed eater and, and, and all that, and you can actually cut the grass, but you don't have a chainsaw. And and the owner, you know, comes to you and says, hey, can we trim that tree right there? Can you cut that little tree down? It ain't gotta be no great big chainsaw. Can you cut that little tree down or, uh, or blah, blah, blah? And you, see, oh, and you say, oh no, uh, 
I'm sorry, I don't have a chainsaw. And then the homeowner calls, uh, calls a, a, another landscaper and, and says, uh, the homeowner calls another landscaper and, uh, you know, to come out there and trim the trees that, that, that she was wanting you to trim or they were wanting you to trim. And then that landscaper comes out there and he has uh, a chainsaw, mowers, and a weed eater. You know, that, 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 that landscaper might take your customer from you at that point in time. My thinking is always this, y'all, and y'all can believe me or not. I don't want another landscaper stepping up on any of my customers' properties if I can, if, if I can help it. Now, you can't, you know, you can't physically stop anybody from doing that, but you don't want to open up doors for other landscapers to get their foot in. And if you don't have, you know, some of the things, if you think, well, I got a weed eater, a blower, and a mower, you know, I don't need anything else. Well, you do need other things in order to, to keep the customer. Because the biggest trick, one of the biggest tricks in this game is the ability to keep the customers while you gain more customers. You know, if every season you lose, and you, I lose customers every season, but if every season you lose, uh, you know, more, if you lose customers uh, and not gain more than that, then, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time before it all catches up with you. You know, you want to be able to Maintain the customers you got, which means you have to have some, uh, you know, some ability to do things outside of just cutting the grass. You know, like if you can't do the bushes, well, you better hurry up and get you some hedge trimmers if, so you can do the bushes. Because if you can't do the bushes, then somebody else is going to come in there and take that customer from you that can do the bushes. So, you know, uh, yeah, you can start a lawn, a lawn landscape business with a little mower and, and a blower and a weed eater. You can start, but I mean, I mean, uh, uh, just as soon as you can, I'm talking about within days, certainly uh, within weeks, uh, you better have a, a set of hedge trimmers because uh, the customers, uh, at least down here where I live at, if you ain't got no hedge trimmers, you ain't, uh, uh, you're not gonna be able to hold on to the customer, you know, because the customer don't wanna have five different people coming out there to maintain the outside of their property. They wanna have one person that they can call and they'll take care of everything, you know, that makes sense, you know. And trimming bushes and hedges, well, that's a straight money maker there, y'all. I mean, that's, that's you, you could actually pay uh, for your hedge trimmers after one or two jobs. So uh, hedge trimmers is another thing that I would get immediately after I got uh, uh, my customers and, my, and a couple of customers in my mower because on a couple of customers, you could do their bush bushes and that uh, will literally pay for the hedge trimmers. And then you got the hedge trimmers moving forward that's another service you can offer, you know. Now, I know there are some properties where they don't have hedges, and, and I have some that, that, that don't require a lot of trimming. But uh, I ain't worried about it, y'all. You know why? Because if, they, if, they, if they're going to hit, if they're going to get their bushes trimmed, they're not going to call anybody else but me because they know that I do that, you know. Uh, and been doing that ever since year, you know, one or two. Just as soon as I saw the money to get the hedge trimmers, I got uh, uh, some little hedge trimmers, and I, I think I bought a, a set of used hedge trimmers off of uh, off of another landscaper off of Craigslist, uh, you know, for 150 bucks or something like that. Not very much money when you you know. Hell, the first job I did with them, I made 150 bucks. So that's a pretty doggone good investment for hedge trimmers. Though you don't need them to start out with. But you best get them quickly if you want to hold on to the customers because you've got to be able to hold on to the customers. You know, especially going into the season, man. If you can't offer some 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 things outside of lawn, you're gonna have a hard time because uh, most of my customers uh, they want full service, uh, you know, lawn 
lawn care. You know, they don't want to deal with outside at all. You know, they don't want to have um, a dude coming and doing this, and then another dude coming and doing that, and then another dude coming to do the mulch, and then another dude coming to trim the bushes, and then another guy coming to, you know, they don't want to do all that. They want to have one guy that they can call and they can do it all. And I know going into the business, you're not gonna you're not gonna be equipped like me, but you but your thinking has to be, you know, uh, trying to get there. If you know what I mean, your thinking has to be in terms of uh, you know uh, being able to keep the even if you only got like two or three customers. You know, you, you, you got to be able to keep them. And I just think that if you don't hurry hate, hurry up and invest in the, in the business in the beginning, that you're not going to be able to offer enough services to really um, make it where it's worth it. It's just my thoughts, you know, I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to grab some breakfast. This is Ray, Ray's Landscaping, and uh, I'll get back with you guys. See ya. Wow, man. So y'all know what it is, man. It's raining like hell. Uh, again, really glad I got off that job yesterday uh, because this is why, you know, I wanted. I was so uptight. You know, all front. Anyway, guys, it's Ray. Uh, Ray's landscaping, and uh, I'll kick back with you.